People don't tell women the truth these days. Men get told the truth all the time. Women have no problem telling a man, I don't want an average man. It happens every day on my show. TLC said they don't want no scrubs. And we have no problem telling average men, you ain't crap. But if I just happen to have the nerve to agree with the woman that says she's average, then I'm Satan. I think that's interesting. People it is interesting because women live in fantasy, not reality. They don't want to live in the truth, but yet they walk around talking about my truth all the time. But that truth is filled with a bunch of fantasy. It's not reality. There's nothing wrong with being average. Most people are average. Being average doesn't mean that you're ugly. It doesn't mean that you're less deserving. It doesn't mean that you're stupid. It just means that you're average. We have certain standards that we consider beautiful as, as human beings. And there's a level. That's why there's a scale from 1 to 10. But if everybody is walking around saying they're 10s, where is the room for improvement? There's nothing perfect about anyone. Nature doesn't even make perfect straight lines. So how are we as human beings going to portray ourselves as perfect? Now, if you're looking at like the standard of beauty, you know, some people would say that, you know, uh, um, runway models or, or magazine cover models or something like that, these high fashion models are the standard of beauty. Well, there's nothing we can do about that. That exists. You know, I, I know I'm not a, a 10 as far as like the looks, you know, I'm older now. Young, when I was younger, you know, I had my fair share. I did my things. People would rate me up in the higher number or whatever. But the reality is I'm older now and, and it's just not the reality anymore. And that's OK. You see, I earned these gray hairs. I earned some of my hair getting thinner. I earned my experience. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm an average, middle-aged guy. I'm not going to delude myself and say that I'm a 10 and that I can hang with the fashion models and all of that. But women do because society has taught women to live in fantasy and at the same time attacking men, at the same time holding men accountable. Society holds men accountable all day, every day, not just women. If you walk outside and you ain't shit, then you ain't shit. And men will tell other men, look, man, you need to work on yourself because you lack it. You being a bum, you being lazy. But what do women do? Women say, oh, no, go, girl. You're a queen. You're a 10. You got to love yourself. Speak your truth. And the thing is that this really hurts women. On the surface, women think this is so empowering and so cool, but it hurts them. And if they, if they have children, now they're influencing their children with this. You see, this goes back generations. That's why you have these women here that act like this, that live in fantasy. Disney movies, White Picket Fence, Snow White, Cinderella, all these things, they're all fantasy and none of that is going to be a reality, even if it could be, if you're not being the best person you can be yourself. And that starts with being honest. Because at the end of the day, when you look in that mirror, it's only you looking back. You can be on social media in front and act like you're all that and ignore reality. But when you get out that shower, you look in that mirror you wake up and you get out the bed. You know what the truth is. When you go visit that doctor and the doctor says, hey, you need to change these things. You know what the truth is. But because you can just pop online or just go around your friends, your girlfriends, and they all just gas you up with this fantasy. That is more important to you because you, you crave acceptance so much. And it doesn't matter if it's not reality.